Hey everybody, welcome to Camping with Steve. On this week's episode of Where's Wallace, I'm in British Columbia on Vancouver Island in the city of Nanaimo. My beautiful wife found the most tantalizing sign to camp behind I've ever seen in my life. So I've just been circling the block here. There's a guy right where I want to park um, at the end of a road who's been working in his garage. So I'm kind of waiting for him to go in for dinner or something like that. Um, but I'm going to actually just offload my backpack kind of in the bushes on this uh, off-ramp. So that's the next stop is the off-ramp and we'll unload this backpack. Oh yeah, that's the sign. So I'm going to have to casually get the backpack under one of these trees here. I'll be parking on the other side of this little off-ramp and this whole neighborhood has a lot of signs up that say uh, they call the police for suspicious activity. Um, me parking a car there on a dead end road in front of somebody's house, walking off with a huge backpack and out of province plates, that's suspicious activity. So we don't want to give them any ammo. And I'll just get this backpack tucked into the woods. All right. Let's hide this thing here. Okay, I think that should do the job. Oh, that's one thing I need. This little tripod chair is gonna be useful. So I'll bring that and I'll bring my other camera and we'll just walk this up and um, get around the corner real quick. Huh. Okay. Right on. I think that went pretty smoothly. Provided the backpack is still there, we just have to sneak across behind the sign. And it's a lot of people driving this road. Right. Ah, just where I left it. Okay, there's a traffic light up the highway there. And I think this could be my chance to make a break for it. Awesome. And after this car, I'll just walk across casual. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now this is a spot. Just walking around back here. Nobody should be able to see me. Um, somebody forgot a saw here. But uh, yeah, we got our flags here. Oh, no way. Looks like we might have power here. <laughs> Look at that. Hmm. That's interesting, because in the car I have a rice maker and that might actually work for tonight's dinner. I picked up this tripod. From the fellas. This, my other one's a little flimsy. This is a, a better quality. Oh, sweet. Yeah, as soon as those folks uh, go make dinner and get out of their garage area, then I'll scoop the rice cooker and I'll see if we have power here. Otherwise, I'll just cook on the camp stove. This is good. Quite a good spot. I'm not going to set up the tent quite yet because there's still people having barbecues like right across the road. I can smell their barbecue. And it feels a little exposed because I can see the road like quite plainly that way. But most people aren't gonna look in their rear view mirrors. They're all driving that way. So that's good. I will, however, crack a step two. Uh, this is brewed on the island here. Uh, Capitan Czech Pilsner by, um, who did this? Lighthouse Brewing, right in Victoria. I just, Looked around for a local one. I have no idea um, what this beer is all about, but I think uh, it's gonna do the job. That's actually really good. Really good. It's 
been nice of people to keep that graffiti a little bit PG. Um, nobody drew that thing that they always do. So I'm just going to wander over into the woods over here. Because before I set up, I want to be sure that I'm not sharing the woods with a bunch of other stealth campers. So, just going to take a peek over here by where I saw a shopping cart earlier. Not bad at all. This would actually be a way better spot. Uh, but it's not nearly as cool as behind that sign. So, um, I'm not seeing a lot of garbage or evidence of campfires. It's just your normal stuff. Some lids from the spray paint containers. Alright, got this little bivy tent. Right. I've used this once before. It worked okay. And we'll see if I can remember how to set this up. This one does need 10 pegs to stay up, but that's okay. 10 pegs are one of those things, whatever that means. Camouflage really doesn't help in this situation here. Um, having one with graffiti on it would ironically be a little less obvious, but just the perfect angle here to be tucked away, so I'm not overly concerned. We got maybe an hour of visible light, civil twilight left, and then we'll be relying on some flashlights. There are lights around the outside of this that are gonna come on at night, so I'm prepared for that. There's nothing on the inside that's gonna illuminate me from, from this side, I hope. I'm filming this on a Saturday evening because the grass is getting pretty unwieldy here and I'm sure the city is going to want to come in and do their spring maintenance on this thing. I don't think they'll do that on a Sunday morning, but I do know these guys start really early, and I'm not much of an early person. So I will try to be out of here nice and early. The only people I think I might run into would be um, graffiti artists or something that would come through in the night. So we'll see what happens, but I'm optimistic that this should be smooth sailing. Doesn't look like anybody coming. We'll go see if we can find out if there's power here or not. We're well into twilight here, so I'll sneak over and grab that rice cooker and we'll find out if we've got power in that flagpole over there. Right on, rice cooker. I just don't know how I would explain um, walking into the woods with a rice cooker. No, no luck. If I could get into this electrical box, I'm sure I could flip on those outlets, but that's um, getting into full-blown crime territory, and I'm just more comfortable with minor bylaw infractions. So I'm going to trade that rice cooker for a butane stove. Oh, 
that sounds. Ow! Okay, don't mind about that. Uh, we'll figure this out. But that looks a little more reasonable. Okay, good. Oh, beautiful. I actually had to go running back to grab this part of the pot because this is actually way better than what I brought for the original pot. What could go wrong? Okay, so I got uh, a bottle of water here, some concentrated broth, these toothpaste tubes of uh, garlic and uh, basil. Dump in some fettuccine. Package of pre-cooked uh, chicken. Broccoli. Oh, these are really big broccolis. Not too bad. Lemon juice. Cream cheese. Now, I've seen this in a few pasta videos or pasta or however you pronounce that, but the um, the cream cheese essentially takes the place of a roux to make a creamy sauce. Okay. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh boy. love it when it's like five pounds of food. Actually, I scaled this back down from what it was supposed to be, which would have been twice as much, but. I wish I had my salt and pepper shaker with me, but I do not. However, still quite extremely delicious. Now I have to thank all of the Beer Donation subscribers and actually anybody that sent a kind word or, uh, or even followed along. Maybe you haven't commented yet. That's all cool. You know, we're, we're good that way. I had, I'd really held off on the using cream cheese instead of a proper roux, but for camping purposes, that works out actually really convenient and uh, quite tasty. lights on at night. Just trying to sneak out to see what it looks like. So, yeah, I'm gonna just head back right up behind there. And nobody suspects a thing. Time for bed. It's not large, but it is stealthy. So we're gonna hug her down here and see you guys in the morning. Huh, rain.
All right, time to get up and start the day. I was hoping to sleep in a little bit, but I don't want to overstay my welcome. Actually, I never had a welcome to begin with, so let's do this. This rain is an unexpected pleasure. I'm just debating on how I want to take this tent down because I hate throwing it in the bag wet. I think if I put the fly separately, then repackage it later, it's good intentions, but I don't know if I will get around to repackaging it later. But this is just the second time I've used the tent, and I hate to uh, put it away wet, you know what I mean? So, I'm a little groggy because there's not a lot of high quality REM sleep as a byproduct of camping behind a concrete pillar on the side of the highway. But that's okay, a little coffee will fix that right up. My phone is in the sleeping bag somewhere. I just felt it. I think I realized it now. Who knows what else is in there, but it can't be that important. It seems that Garbage, the cat, has been misbehaving substantially lately. Uh, my sister is watching, uh, watching that little thing, and uh, apparently he ate a piece of fish right off her plate the other day. Oh, guy's incorrigible. this up next time out camping let it air out really good I guess it's not that wet trying to get everything out of here in one load is a bit of a pipe dream we'll try Gonna do it all in one trip. Nothing suspicious about a 10 foot backpack, right? Oh man. Well, on the way out, I don't care about being stealthy so much. So, I don't mind carrying this ridiculous backpack. Looks like I'm going up a mountain, I'm carrying a, a pot of leftovers. But, uh, all right, just about ready to head across the street. And uh, if you can handle this type of stuff, please consider subscribing. It's a safe and legal thrill, and it'll make you feel good. Yeah, nothing to see here. Just going for a walk. Right on. There's a surprise dog over here. Right on. So that concludes this week's adventure and not a moment too soon because the couple across the road from where I parked were standing in their living room mirror looking horrified as I stumbled out of the woods with a huge backpack and a pot of leftovers. So I don't think I'll be camping there again anytime ever, but it was a pretty cool spot. Uh, that's exactly the type I like, you know, kind of out in the open, but uniquely hidden. And if I could find signs like that, that's all this channel would be, is camping behind signs with Steve. Uh, but, I don't know. It's They're few and far between. I guess there's no hiding where I am. Everybody's going to know it's Nanaimo, as you can see on the sign. So, uh, yeah, if you're wandering through looking for a cool spot to camp, I'd give that two thumbs up. Uh, road noise was a bit much. Uh, there's some some light, but from where you are behind the barrier, you can't really see that. So overall, um, yeah, I would endorse that spot. 
but I don't want to encourage uh, misbehavior. So be stealthy, my friends. And we'll see you uh, right away here um, as soon as I can get another one filmed. Uh, cheers, everybody.